welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind A Crafty Concept. In today's video, I am sharing the Instagram live replay from day eight of Crochetmas. If you're new around here every day for the first 10 days of December, we are celebrating with 10 days of Crochetmas. I go live over on Instagram and crochet one of the free patterns from my blog that would make an excellent Christmas gift or a way for you to market an excellent Christmas gift to your audience. In today's video, we are making an essential oil roller keychain. This is a, a little keychain with cute little bobble stitches on it that you can hook to your purse, your bag, your diaper bag, your backpack, whatever that you carry around with you or that your idol customer carries around with you. And they can put something that's important to them that they use regularly, but don't want to be digging around in their purse for. Other things that you can put in there is a lighter, toenail clippers, chapstick, fingernail polish, lipstick, all kinds of different stuff can fit in there. Just called the essential oil roller because I use essential oils, but lots of other things can go in there too. For all 10 days of crochet miss, we are having a freebie that goes specific with that day's pattern. So today's pattern is the essential oil roller keychain and today's freebie is a product tag to help you market your essential oil roller keychains. Now the product tags are specific to essential oils, but I have uh, two different tutorials on my blog already where you can either edit a, a PDF that you already have or make your own product tags from scratch. I will link all of those things for you down below. If you want to grab this freebie and you don't have it already from being on the Crochet Miss email list, you can go to the Essential Oil Roller blog post and there will be a picture that you can click to download the freebie from there. We only have two days left after today. Very, very excited. I'm having such a good time. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback, so most of you are having a good time too. Thank you for catching the replay. Thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and watch and see what it was like to make an essential oils keychain holder live on Instagram. Hello friends, welcome, welcome to Crochet Mess Day 8. We have been doing this, this will be our 8th day in a row that we have gone live together to crochet a free crochet pattern from my blog and I am loving it. It is also 8 days in a row that I have put on makeup and I believe that's the most makeup I've worn in all of 2023. So we are breaking records all over the place. Hey Sierra, thank you for being here. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining and tuning in. I just said, hey, Sierra, and my iPad thought I was talking to Siri, and she started listening. Rude. Not talking to you. How's everybody doing? How's your morning? How's your afternoon? It's still raining here. Been raining here every day this week. For, so far, for Crochetmas, we have made Bitty Boho Stockings, Little Baby Christmas Lights, Bubble Bugs, Claire Cozies, Crafty facial rounds, bitty boho bags, that was yesterday's, and Claire Bun beanies. We have been making so many things. I hope that you're getting some Christmas presents cranked out. This one is definitely going to be a Christmas present. Um, this one will probably be a Christmas present. This one I'm keeping as my little desk bubble bug. Not sure what I'm going to do with this cutie patootie. Probably keep it as a photo prop, and I will probably just take this one straight to my bathroom and add that to my collection. I have about 20 in there that I use regularly. Okay, if this is your first time, we will be doing four giveaways through this live. That's the goal. Four is the goal. Sometimes we run out of time. Here are the rules. Four giveaways means four chances to win. You are allowed to enter all four of them, but you are only allowed to enter all four of them one time. And the way you enter is by guessing a number. We're not guessing yet. I'm just going over the rules. The way we enter is by guessing a number between 1 and 126, and then I draw it out of my big basket, and then the one who gets the closest without going over is the winner. I will set this rule saying out right before we do all of the giveaways as a quick reminder. 
Sierra is hanging out in the comments today, and she will be selecting our winner, making sure everybody follows the rules so you don't have to worry about a single thing. We've got it under control. Also, if you do win, this is the information I'm going to need from you. I need you to email me, not Instagram DM. Email me, Ashley at A Crafty Concept. Your name, your Instagram handle. Like, I need to know your actual name because if I'm sending you something in the, like, the actual mail, like snail mail, I need to have a name to put it on, to put on it. Um, your Instagram handle, what prize you won specifically. So if you want a sticker, tell me which sticker you won specifically. Like if you, if it was between these two and you said yarn ball sticker, I'm not going to know which one you're talking about. So try to be as specific as possible because all these things are just going to help me get your prize to you faster. Like you'll still get your prize, but it, it might be a couple days if I, if, if I'm having to go through the internet to find all the information and if we're doing some back and forth communication, which could take like day or two in between. So this is just to help you get your prize faster. That being said, we will be doing four giveaways. One is going to be for the Crochet Miss sticker. Very exclusive. This was made just for Crochet Miss Lives. And I will be giving away a pack of Christmas stickers. So somebody is going to win all three of these bad boys. And then we will also be giving away two PDFs for today's crochet pattern, which is, hello, which is the Essential Oils Roller Keychain. We are making the Essential Oils Roller Keychain today. You will need a D crochet hook. This one is Clover Moore. It's a D 3.25. That is what I will be using. If you go up or down, it will just change the finished size of your thing. You can make this in different sizes. You can make it with this thin yarn that we're going to be doing here together, or you can make it with acrylic number four worsted weight yarn and just make it bigger. Like if you need to hold something a little bit bigger, try making it with worsted weight yarn and see what you come up with and see how it turns out. It might be the exact perfect thing that you need for what your ideal customer carries around with her regular. Regularly. So if you got today's email, you saw that I, for one, I sent you the freebie, which is a set of tags that you can get. Let me see if it's pulled up here. But also I included a, a little bit of examples for how to market this to your ideal customer. So if your ideal customer is a healthcare worker, maybe they need to keep their chapstick in here because they have to wear masks all the time and their lips get really chapped. If your ideal customer is a teacher, maybe she uses essential oils and she puts her stress relieving essential oil roller because what job is more stressful than a teacher, especially like an elementary school teacher. Um, this is what the product tags look like. I was really happy with these. I had to get a little creative because if I just drew this thing like I normally do, nobody's gonna, that's not gonna help your customers know what it is. So I was hoping this would help them know what it is a little bit more clear. Also, if you do not use essential oils or if your ideal customer does not use essential oils and you want to use them for something else, highly recommend it. Be as, as nailed down as you can to your ideal customer. Give her the exact reason why this would raise her quality of life without making her have to think too hard and you will get more sales. But if you're not using essential oils and you want to change this tag, I have two tutorials on my blog. One is how to update a PDF. So you could just open this PDF, put a big white box to cover all these texts here, and then type in your own text. Or you can follow a tutorial that I did on YouTube showing you how to make your own tags from scratch. Both of these, thank you, Hooked by Crochet. I was really happy with them. I just, I don't know. Usually, I don't know. I got a roller and then essential oil and then got some lavender behind it. I thought it looked really good. Um, uh, Mackenzie liked them too. She, she was here when I made them. This is what they look like on the whole sheet. And you can cut them out, hole punch them, and attach them to your essential oil rollers. But you can modify the tag if you're not feeling the essential oil you know, purpose. I will say again, I said it yesterday, but I will say again that the reason I created an essential oil roller pattern is because I spent $300 on essential oils and I needed that to be a tax write-off. So I created content around it and I will continue to create content around essential oils. That is the main reason. But I do also use essential oils. Um, I really like mixing peppermint, lemon, and lavender. That's usually what I diffuse in my essential oil diffuser here in my room, but I also use rosemary oil for my hair, tea tree oil for my hair, peppermint oil for my hair, tea tree oil for my skin. Like, I use essential oils a lot. Peppermint oil is also really good for headaches, but I'm not an oil expert. Please, please speak to an oil expert before putting any oils on your skin. Um, I'm Mine has been okay, but you need to speak to an oil expert. I'm not an oil expert. Do not put anything on your skin without speaking to somebody that knows what they're talking about. That is not me. 
We can talk about ideal customers all day long, but if you want to talk about oils, I am not your expert. Quick little, um, quick little, quick little reminder: we do have a current coupon code available for just the crochet miss family here in the live over on the replay and in the inbox my friends over at angie and Britt have decided to give you guys a coupon code to get five dollars off a 25 dollar purchase of any of their tags in their shop i guess it's anything in their shop um but i i buy their tags these are the faux suede tags that i get from them they go on they're good for beanie patches they're good for logo tags they've got the fold over tags that are really good on some things i like to use them for the clear cozies you could like to fold over right there i think that's really cute we talked about how to use them with the bitty boho bags if you wanted to leave off some bobble stitches and do a fold over right there i think that would look really nice the thing i like about the fold over is they're really really fast like tagging your products with the fold overs you just put it on there screw in the, the hardware and you're done things like this you have to sew on or even the wooden tags that i get from a different company you have to sew on and then sew in your tails and it takes a lot longer this is like lickety split so if you can add any fold over tags to any of your products it's going to really step up your game to make you look more professional and it's also going to be like a really fast easy thing that you can add on that doesn't take a lot of time to your to your makes because if you are selling finished pieces time is not on your side right we can only crochet so fast so use coupon code crochet miss 22 for five dollars off a 25 dollar purchase yes the hardware does come with the fold over tags um they're very generous also they can help you guys like if you don't know what sizes these are i don't want to get out my um ruler right now but if you want me to later that's fine but you can just show them you could take a screenshot and say this is the one i want um but i want it to say this and this do you know what size that is like they know what they've sent me they know what's in this bag you could show them and they because they we talk regularly so they'll know what you're talking about if you send them a screenshot of something that i have they'll know exactly what it is so they'll be able to help you get the exact thing that you need. Um, they'll also be able to tell you like what color this is because I don't remember. And they have a couple different like neutral colors. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our thing. So we will be using number two weight yarn. This is from one of my crochet bosses, Asheen. She has an, uh, another shop where she sells yarn and I bought a whole bunch of it because I'm absolutely obsessed with trying patterns using different size yarn. Like I, it's one of my, it's like a whole nother hobby. <laughs> one hobby is crocheting, one hobby is designing crochet patterns, and then one hobby is making previously designed crochet patterns in different yarn. Like I just love it. So I bought a whole bunch of this so I could try a whole bunch of different things with different tiny yarn because everything just looks so cute tiny also it's not fingering weight yarn it's a little bit thicker so it's a little bit easier for my old eyeballs to be able to see properly this one is in the color um i want to say yellow but it's like a mustardy coat it doesn't have a color 84 color number 84 and it is this is cotton and pac uh, maybe that's the type of polyester i have no idea but this is really nice to use, and Asheen is a very sweet lady, and I will put a link to her yarn in the YouTube replay, for those of you who are watching it on, over on YouTube. And if you are on the email list, you probably already have the link in your inbox. You will also need a small button. I do not know the exact size of this button, maybe a quarter of an inch. I'm not sure, and I don't have a ruler next to me, but small. You're going for a small button. If your button, if you don't have a button yet, I would make your thing and then take your thing to Walmart and then try on the buttons before you buy one. And if you do have a button or multiple buttons, just grab a few different sizes and then you can see which one fits best. Sorry, I do not have. Also, it's gonna change based on like your yarn and your hook, all the things. You want it to be snug, but not too tight and not too loose. So you want it to be nice and snug. That's the button that I'm using. It is not linked anywhere. It's just a random button. And then I have my findings here, my hardware that I will be using to turn it into a keychain. I love these. They're like brushed bronze or whatever. I think they look really classy just because they're that dark color. And then they they come in two different pieces and you got to put them together. This is linked in the email that I sent you and down in the description below if you were watching the replay on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the pattern over here on my iPad because I did not get to pre-make one of these because I was working so hard to try to get day six and seven's replays live. Day six is edited, but it's not live yet because
because it was for Friday's blog post, but I digress. I have to edit one more thing because my, my editor started acting weird, and then that one will be available. So it will be available sometime today for day six, and then day seven I will edit tonight and hopefully be able to get it up for you guys by tomorrow. Okay, we are back. Let's see if the internet is going to work better this time. I am so sorry. The techie techie is killing me. I will upgrade my internet as soon as it becomes a possibility out here in the country. Thank you for coming back. Sorry for the techie techie. Yay, I got on before you started. Well, sorry. Technically, I'm restarting because we've had some techie techie. But maybe that was just for you. The techie techie was just for you. Okay, all good. Okay, looking good. Awesome. Let's continue before it quits again. So we are going to pull up the pattern. I have it over here on my iPad. You can get it at acraftyconcept.com and then click on the free patterns tab if you want to follow along. I haven't made one of these in a hot minute, so it might be a little bit of a long one. Also, it looks like I'm going to need a couple more stitch markers to try to mark my turning chain when I make the button loop. So let me grab... Just gonna grab a honking handful. We'll see what we got. All right, we are gonna start by making a slip knot and chaining 43. We are making the essential oil roller key chain, but you can also use it for all kinds of other things. It doesn't have to just be essential oils. Okay, now we are going to chain 43. One, two, three, four, I had to count this one, five, six, seven, eight, but I can count to myself. Twenty-five. Thirty-seven, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, and just so you guys know, this starting chain will dictate the height of your finished thing. So it's gonna like fold up on itself and then the fold over for the flap. So if you want yours taller, we're making essential oil roller keychains. But if you want yours taller for some reason, and then if you wanna adjust it, you can just change your starting hook. Oh, you're gonna love your clover hooks. I mean, your starting chain, and that will help make it taller. Now we are gonna skip the chain closest to our hook and single crochet 41 back down. It doesn't say in the back bump, but I'm gonna go in the back bump anyway. So to find the back bump, you're just gonna turn, you're looking, these are the tops of your stitches. We are going to turn them this way, and that's how you're gonna see the back bumps. So we're, we're gonna skip the back bump closest to our hook, which is this guy over here, and we're gonna insert our hook into this one and place our first single crochet there, and we're gonna single crochet 41. So that's one. You will notice that I yarn under instead of the traditional yarn over. Just, just how I taught myself. It gives my single crochets a slightly twisted effect. Apparently it's good for amigurumi to make your stitches tighter, but for this pattern, it will not affect your finished piece. You can go over or under, whichever one is more comfortable for you. If I say over and I do under, just do whichever is comfortable for you. Yarn over is the the way we talk about crochet patterns we just say yarn over um so if i say yarn over and i yarn under just just keep it going this color is gorgeous i'm already loving it we're going to single crochet all the way down while we are doing our single crochets here let's go ahead and i have a feeling this one's going to be another long one even though it's small in size it's still going to be a long pattern to make so probably closer to the hour and a half to two hour mark again. I apologize, but we're here for it, right? Um, Sierra will have to leave at some point. She has other obligations. So it will be just be me down there with the giveaways. So please give me grace. But we can start a giveaway right now while we still have Sierra. So I'm going to put the rules back on the screen you can start guessing your numbers, 1 through 126. And after I finish all the way down to here, I will pull them out. So I'm going to try to set that to the side. 
Go ahead and guess your numbers, 1 through 126. The person to get the closest without going over first will win. If two people guess the same number and that number is correct, the first persons who we see that came through on in the comments will be the one who wins. So if you see someone else guess your number right before you hit submit and the lag made it different, you can do a different number, but it's one guess per giveaway. So one guess per person. We can go ahead and be letting those come in. You're gonna have plenty of time. And for this one, we're gonna give away the Christmas sticker bundle. So for the winner of this one, we'll get three Christmas stickers. This is open internationally, so it does not matter where you live. I will send you your Christmas stickers, but I will need your name and address, and I need you to email it to me because if you send it to me in my Instagram DMs, it will get lost, and I will find it. It will just take longer to get your prize to you. So the whole reason for all the, all the techie techie down there is speed to get your prize to you faster okay we're almost down here for my 41th <laughs> 41st single crochet and then i'm going to grab my little basket and select a number this is probably the longest time that you've had to make to guess a number so far when i keep splitting my yarn so that's not helping okay one more and then i'm gonna grab my basket and k going to type stop. Anything after stop will not be submitted. Here comes my basket. Here comes the stop. I'm going to look away and try to select a number that's not all folded. So hopefully we can get a new one. 54. 54 is the winner. Sierra will find you. Sierra will tag you and then I will give you a shout out if I miss it, Sierra, just remind me and be like, hey, you forgot to say 54. And you are winning the these three stickers here, the little sticker bundle. Sierra will find you. Okay, now that we've made it back down to our starting, to, to our first chain, we are going to luciously, <laughs> that is what is in the pattern, luciously, loose, loosely-ish, loosely-ish, chain four and march each, each one with a stitch marker. So we are down here in the last stitch. So I guess, okay, I'm gonna do a single crochet. Oh yeah, single crochet one. So in the last stitch, we're gonna start by single crocheting one. Congratulations, Dumar, welcome, congrats. She's been hanging out at most of these, okay. So I'm in my last, my first chain that we did. I'm gonna place a single crochet. Single crochet. Now we are going to loosely-ish <laughs> chain four. And I'm gonna mark each one of them with my stitch marker. So we don't wanna make them super duper tight or it will not stretch around your button, okay? So loosely-ish, loosely-ish. One, I'm gonna add my stitch marker. Because I remember designing this, and this part was such a pain. So the stitch markers really helped. That's one, maybe. Okay. That's two. Stitch marker. We will not lose our spot today. No siree. Then we've got three. Okay. Here we go. Perfect, and then the last one for four, not too tight. Fourth one, gonna mark it, maybe get in there. I'm just gonna make sure it's in there real good. Okay, then we are going to single crochet back into this end spot, making sure not to get our little chain twisted. I'm um, going to single crochet right in the same spot where we did the first one before we did our chain four, our loose chain four. That's where we're going to place our single crochet. How's everybody doing? I know this part's a little confusing, but I believe this is the only confusing part. We're just creating our little buttonhole. That's what we just did. That's our buttonhole. So it snaps on to our, the body of our thing. Now we are going to single crochet back down 
the starting chain for 41 stitches again. And while I do this, is a really good time to be asking me questions or post comments or chitty chatty because it's just single crochets. Easy peasy. This color, man. I am loving this color. What? I was smart this time. I'm at the bobbles. There you go, girl. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of slow at this one because I don't make them very often, but I will say when I first designed the pattern, I couldn't stop making them. I think I have like five or six um, ready to go because they were just so fun for me. I liked trying the different colors. I liked using the smaller yarn. It's fun with the smaller yarn because you can make so many with just such a small investment. We are making essential oil roller keychains, but you can put anything that you want in there. It doesn't have to be just for essential oils. I highly recommend you do a little deep dive into the mind of your ideal customer and think about what it is that she carries around with her that she's usually digging in her purse for and that you can help her not have to do that, right? So I'm so obsessed. How cute are they? I'm so glad you love them. Making even. Also, I don't love that my stitch markers are going to scratch the table down there. That gets very loud on the YouTube replay. I'm using a D hook. It's a 3.25. And this is Clover and More brand. Sorry about the scratching of the thing. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, but let's see if we just... That might help. Okay. Oh, I'm a little far from the screen, too. A little down low. I'm making the teal color. So are you using number two weight yarn, Sierra, or number four weight yarn? I want to make one with a number four. I feel like I did already, and then I forgot. Also, I designed a purse that was inspired by this pattern that I never released, that I might could release sometime soon. If anybody is doing a different yarn other than number two, let me know, because I am obsessed with that, like trying different yarns for the same thing. I wonder if you used blanket yarn, if it would hold an iPhone. <laughs> that would be neat, like a big squishy 90s style iPhone holder. Don't you think like big squishy things, oversized squishy things was very 90s? Mine are a two, I think. I'm not sure it was unlabeled, but it's a four. It's going to turn out chunky. Tried to make one for chapstick, chapstick with a size 4 and it didn't go well. So I tried to make one for chapstick with a size 1 and it was too tiny. You would definitely have to add to your starting chain. It fit around wise, like it was tight enough around it, but it was um, oh a 4 with a 3.5 hook. Oh, I can't wait to see all these. You'll have to tag me in them. Okay, that's my number, one, my number 41. Now we are going to chain 1 and turn our work. This color, I can't even. Let's look at the pattern. It says row two, single crochet 41, increase around, and then single crochet 41 again. So we're gonna single crochet 41. I did one with a size four and it turned out with the same dimensions as yours, but I crochet tightly anyway. What hook did you use with a size four? I'm gonna have to try a blanket yarn now. I'm also using a three, 3.5. 3 what what letter is 3.5? An E? E, yeah, E, F, an F probably? So you used a D with worsted weight yarn. Dang, that would be tight. Just single crocheting, 41. Do you guys have any feedback about Crochet Miss so far? Anything that you would like to see differently next year besides different patterns? But, um, Lion Brand Jeans, it says medium four, but thinner. Okay, I know what you mean with that. 3.5 with an E. Ugh, you guys, seriously, when you do share pictures, if you don't, if you want to put your hook in your, like if you do it in your stories and you want to put your hook in the stories, you can, or you can just message me if you want, um, because I'm like nerding out. I'm going to want to look at all of them. If four works, then I'm definitely attempting it. I'm using an E because I couldn't find the D. Hey, not one yarn. Look what yarn I'm using. That's Asheen. Asheen is in the house. 
It's wonderful and so fun. You are the best. Oh gosh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I would be, I'm, I am open to any feedback though, if there's anything that I can do differently next time besides new crochet patterns, because I will definitely be doing that. And besides the time, because I'm kind of restricted in the types of times that I get. I'm going to try to do more lives, Hillcrest. I'm going to try really hard to make it um, on the calendar for 2023, regular lives, like minimum maybe once a month. And I think, I, I think that's super obtainable for me. Okay, so now that we have, I think we are back to, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, I'm not going. <laughs> we have done our 41, I'm, I didn't count them, but I'm 97% sure that's 41, and now we are at our six stitches that are down here in the last chain from our, ch our starting chain, so our first one was a single crochet, and then we have four with the stitch markers, and then another single crochet. I used four weight and a 3.5 millimeter hook and it turned out a bit bigger than normal, but not by much. Good to know. Um, so now we're going to increase one time in each of these six stitches. So two of the stitches are a single crochet and four of them are previous chains. So that's why we added all these fun stitch markers so we can see exactly where we're going. Now, so we're gonna increase in the first stitch, which is just a single crochet stitch. So that one's gonna be easy. So two single crochets in the same spot here. That's when it increases. That's one and that's two. Now we're gonna go into our first stitch marker. Maybe or warn the difficulty. Also going live more than you can. Okay. Going live more, you can get up to four hours, I think. Oh, longer you mean, good to know. Okay, so now we're going to increase in, if I miss your comment and you give me feedback for Crochet Miss, will you DM me or Sierra? Can you try to screenshot them and we can look at them later? So I'm gonna try, I think I have to remove my stitch marker. Yeah, Sierra, screenshot them and make us a big Trello card with all the feedback so we can go through them to improve next year's Crochet Miss. This was very last minute. And poor Sierra didn't even have a heads up. I was like, hey, can you do this today? And she was like, yeah, so. That, that's how my brain works. It's not great, but it, it gets the job done. Okay, so we are going to increase right here in this spot that where was a previously just a chain. So that's one, and then we're going to go right back in that same hole. It's a little difficult because it's not something that we're super used to. That's two. Okay, I don't know why it's doing the switching of the lens again. Oh, I do know why. I didn't zoom out when I restarted. I wonder if I can, I don't think I can zoom out. Oh! Okay, I didn't know I could zoom out after we done start. That's new information. Okay, increase in the next one. This is our third increase. You can go ahead and move out that little baby stitch marker. Increase here. I know it's difficult. Give yourself grace. Try to get everything out of the way so you can see what we're doing. Okay, next one with the blue stitch marker. I'm going to take it out because it's a little thicker than that green one was. Okay, increase, one and two, two more, two more increases, next one's right here where that chain is, and you can see our little buttonhole developing, one and two, and then the last one is right here, one and two, excellent, so now we have, I'm going to kind of pull this out of the way, our buttonhole has been completed. So now you can go through your stash and see what size button you can use. So that one, on we could probably get away with a little bit bigger, but honestly, it won't fit between the bobbles. So uh, you have to do some trial and error and see which size button that you need for your specific piece. Now we are going to single crochet 41 back down the other side. Okay. I learned that if I'm on my wide angle lens, it won't jump between lenses when I get close to the screen because that is giving me a headache. I can assume it's giving you a headache too. I love working with this yarn. I love this so much. The tips are great as someone who is coming to crochet late in life. I'm soaking it all up. Wish it was lasting more days. Well, Debbie, that was just the sweetest thing. Thank you so much for your comment and your feedback. I'm so, so glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. I think it's been really fun. We only have two days left. I will let you guys know though, inside of Crochet, 
Crochetmas. Inside of Crochet Boss Academy, I go live four days a week for the entire six weeks of Crochet Boss Academy. So I go live Monday through Thursdays every day, Monday through Thursdays. Um, or yeah, I don't think we go live on Fridays and answer questions that everybody's having about the current module that we're doing. So we keep it very intentional so we're not all over the place asking questions about modules we haven't even got to yet. We keep everything on one track, slow and steady, going through the modules one week at a time all together as a group or on your own time. If you don't want to join in on the group stuff, it's totally up to you. The content will be available for you to choose. But we do go live every day inside of the um, exclusive Crochet Boss Academy Class of 2023 Facebook group. So if you are loving the lives and that sort of like business model, Crochet Boss Academy is all about the lives. Okay, chain one and turn our work. Now I believe we're going to do a bobble row, but let me just double check. Row three, we are going to single crochet and then bobble all the way around. So single bobble, single bobble all the way around and we're going to end with two bobbles instead of in, I mean two singles instead of ending on a bobble stitch. So we're going to put a single crochet in our first stitch. See, even if I get close, if I'm on the wide angle lens, it doesn't pop over like it does with the other two lenses. I maybe I can turn that off cuz that is very annoying. I don't know why in the world it would think that's a good idea. Okay, we are going to single crochet here in the first stitch. And then we're going to make a bobble. And wait till you see how cute these bobbles are with this yarn. It's so tiny and cute. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two of the loops on our hook, and keeping two loops on our hook. That's the first like leg of our bobble stitch. And we're going to have four total legs. So we need to put three more legs in that same stitch. Okay, Katie, I will definitely be figuring that out because that is the most annoying thing. Yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to do it two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do it one more time. All in the same stitch, pull through two, then we will have five loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops and that is going to finish out our bobble stitch. Is anybody else's internet being weird or is it just Mr. Stingy Torres? Because if it's me, I really have no other options. Wait, let's see. Okay, Sierra sent me instructions for how to change the lens. That's Thank you, girl. I will do that. Okay, so that finishes your bobble stitch, but this over here is where the magic happens. We are going to go directly into our next stitch. We're not going to chain. We're not going to do anything. We're going to go directly into our next stitch. Thanks, guys, for the internet feedback. It is stressing me out. We're going to give it a tug. We're going to place our single crochet there, but before we complete the single crochet, we're going to give it another tug, and then we're going to place finish out our single crochet, and that is going to make our bobble stitch bobalicious here on the other side. Look at that little baby bobble. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Okay, so yes, bobble stitches are made on the wrong side when I make them. Other designers might do it differently, but every time I make them, they pop out on the wrong side of the row. So I make sure it's the right side of the finished piece. So mine are, all my patterns that include the bobble stitch are designed in a way so they pop out on the wrong side of the bobble row, but the right side of your finished piece. If yours go the other way, um, maybe that you're, the right side will just be the opposite side from what ours is. But if you try to pooch them to go the way they don't want to go, I found they look flat. At least in my experience, you might be a bobble master and you might be able to make it work way better than I can. Um, so you do you and that's the, like, that's literally the best. You do you always. But if your bobbles are flat because you're trying to push them in the direction they don't want to go, um, just go we're in the direction they do want to go. And so if your bobbles were coming out facing you right now, this side would be your right side. And this side would be your wrong side. 
for this pattern, it's not going to matter. You might have to do your joining a little bit differently, but I don't think so. So let your bobbles choose which side they want to go on and let that be the right side of your work because I think almost all of my patterns would probably work like that. Let the bobbles choose. And then that way they will be their prettiest, most poochy outy because it's the natural way for them to go. So don't try to force your bobbles to go in the wrong direction that they want to go because then you're, they're going to be flat and your piece isn't going to be as textured. But we're just going to keep bobbling and single crocheting all the way down. Other bobble patterns have made me make bobbles from the wrong side too. Hello from Chattanooga. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I've tried multiple times to get my bobbles to go out on the, the right side of the row and it's just not working for me. So I adjust accordingly and continue on. Continue on, continuing on, right? Bob and weave, baby. That's the entrepreneur's best skills. So we can bob and weave all day long. My yarn's trying to get in on the action here. It's like, hey, let me on the video. I'm just going to scooch on in here. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet. Okay, bobble stitch. We're going to keep bobbling and single crocheting. Like, this is going to take a while, friends. This is going to take a while. Next year, I will pre-make every single pattern, and I will time myself, and I will allow for chit-chatting, and we will try to keep it under an hour, but one of you guys already said that you're digging the long lives, so we'll just do the best that we can. The good news is, tomorrow's pattern, I believe tomorrow, yes, is the Crafty Loop Earrings, and that one's like another 10 minute, it takes you like 10 minutes to make Crafty Loop Earrings, so that one's going to be quick. And then the last one is the nesting basket. So that one's probably gonna take the longest. And that was an oversight. Maybe we can make a mini version, like smaller than the one that's actually on the, the blog post. So the blog post has three sizes, small, medium, and large. Why don't we make an extra small to use in the live tomorrow? And maybe, actually I think the, the small one that we already have is good for crafty facial rounds. I think they'll fit in there nicely. So if you wanted to use the small nesting basket to house a pack of crafty, fa crafty facial rounds, thank you, Super Steph. Oh, so for the nesting baskets, the yarn that is my favorite is the Hobie yarn. So if you don't have it already, it's probably too late to get it so quickly, but you can use any of, so if you have like a Hobby Lobby, you can go in there and look for that weird yarn that they have that looks like it's like a knitted tube. That would work. Um, there's also another brand that has yarn like the Hobie yarn. I can, I have some of it, but I don't have the tag. There's a girl here, Kristen or Christine, Christina is her name, and she makes trivets with it. The yarn that she uses, it looks like a bulky Bernat home decor yarn is what it looks like. That one does really good. Can we use size four acrylic for the nesting baskets? You could, it would be significantly smaller. If I was gonna use a smaller yarn, I would use Bernat Home Decor. You might could even get away with, so if it's too soft of a yarn, your basket isn't gonna have much structure. And the worsted weight acrylic yarn, um, number four, is not gonna give, your basket's gonna be kind of less strong, but it's honestly not a bad thing. And you could still, like people make basket out of fabric. So if you wanted, if you were okay with it not being super sturdy, I mean, it's still going to hold your stuff, right? You could use Burnett Home Decor yarn, but your basket will be teensy tiny. Um, I try not to, if I use a smaller, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it, it, it would work. And it would be really pretty with Burnett Home Decor because the stitch definition is really pretty. It would just be super, super small and probably not as sturdy as it is with the Hobie yarn. I've also made it with Tough Puff from We Crochet. I think that's actually the one that the, the pattern was written for, was Tough Puff, which is a wool yarn. Um, wool is not my favorite. My sister's allergic to wool. I don't like the way it feels between my hands. So wool is not my favorite. My favorite yarn for the basket so far has been the Hobie yarn. And I did a YouTube video a couple, well, back in the old office, so it was, I don't know, maybe six months ago, maybe a little bit longer, showing a few different types of Hobie yarn. But um, if you want to check that out, you can see how I made the baskets with it. They turned out really awesome. I really, really like it for the baskets. And I have some of that on hand, and that's what I was going to use 
Um, but maybe we'll maybe we will make a smaller version and use Burnett Home Decor or something because I also have that because I got a really good deal on Black Friday. I have the Karen one pound that's like kind of stiffer. Yeah, that would be a little bit better. Another thing that you could do is reinforce the wall of your basket. So the way these are made is we make it really tall and then we fold it. Like we make it really tall, then we do a back loop only, and then we fold it down so the inside, so it's like double thick. And this yarn, like I'm pushing on it. I mean, it's not, it's not un unsquishable, but it's really sturdy because of the type of yarn that is, and it's big. But so there's like an in between, right? In between these two panels that you could put some sort of something to reinforce. I think I've seen people use those little plastic grid things that kids used to use to like make things with yarn and a, and a tapestry needle and to draw like designs. That grid mesh stuff, you could cut a rectangle of that that's long enough to go around your whole basket and just kind of hide it in there and then sew down your, your top and it will stay in there. It'd be good to go. Probably would be machine washable too because it's just plastic. So if you didn't use extremely hot water, you'd probably still be all right with that. Um, I've seen people do that with their crochet baskets. You could probably do cardboard, but that would not be washable. Like if you got it wet, you're in trouble. Oh no, her husband got home and she's distracted. Plastic canvas. Thank you, do more crafts. That's the stuff. You could reinforce it if you wanted to um, use. And also if you make it with worsted weight and you think, wow, I should have reinforced this, you can do that later. Like you can make it with the worsted weight and then um, go get the stuff that you need to reinforce it later. You don't, because you don't have to sew down your fold until you're ready to. You can still have a finished basket. So you can um, definitely modify it if you want to. But I'm kind of digging the idea of the Burnett home decor. You, you could make a smaller basket, smaller than the small size, but make it taller. And then you'd have a, a like pin holding basket, kind of like this. That would be lovely. Burnett blanket yarn with the worsted weight together. That's going to be a trial and error situation, Mama Sita. I'm not sure. Like, I mean, the worst thing is you try it and it don't work, but it'll probably work fine. It'll probably just be squishy. Like, it probably won't be super sturdy would be the only thing I could think of, but you could reinforce it with the canvas. So that's totally up to you. After I finish this row or get closer to finishing it, we'll do another giveaway. I'm not going to go from here because you guys will be guessing for 20 minutes <laughs> before. And then Sierra will be like, I had to scroll for 20 minutes. We're going to wait till I have like maybe 10 stitches left. And then we'll do another giveaway. But we are making, for those of you guys that are popping in, we are making the essential oil roller keychain. But it will hold anything that's long and skinny. And if you need to make it bigger, you can. By, the easiest thing is by adjusting the yarn. The second easiest thing is by adding more chains to your starting chain. And then the after that, you would need to add rows. And that's when the math comes in, in the techie techie. So that is not as simple. You would need to be more advanced to modify it that way. But adding more chains or going up to a chunkier yarn, cake. Super easy. <sighs> Another thing about the time that we're doing these lives is I get hungry. <laughs> it's lunchtime here, so maybe we can do the 10 a.m. ones next year, Eastern Standard Time, instead of 11. I like the 11 because I'm able, oh my, the horse is galloping and my cat is running away. I think they're playing together. They're, my neighbors have <laughs> horses in our field, but we let them live in our field, and the white horse was just galloping like crazy, and then all of a sudden my cat comes running out of the field like a mad lady. Maybe they were just playing. They, I've never seen them be hateful to our cats or like threaten their lives with their scaredness. They're child-proof horses. They have been child-trained, so they are not one to spook as often as like non-child-trained horses. Wish I could be joining you but at our homeschool nature group, just popping in to say hi. Ooh, enjoy nature group. That's so cool. Ava would love something like that. We're just gonna keep going. I wonder if you could make one of these a little bit taller to hold an EpiPen because some parents have, that, that white horse is losing his mind. He's just having his best day. Oh, he just slipped a little. 
Oh, he's having he's having such a good time. He's playful, silly baby. Um, if your ideal customer has a child with allergies and they carry around EpiPens all the time, maybe putting the EpiPen in the keychain so it's easy to grab, even if they hook it to the inside of their bag, they could, um, that way it's not like dangling around on the outside, like if that makes them nervous, you can hook it to the inside of your bag and you'd still be able to find it quickly. But I guess opening it with the button might be a little bit of a time, maybe you could use Velcro or something to make it really fast. I don't know. I don't, we don't have EpiPens here. Now the brown and white ones try, oh, they're, they're running together. They are probably loving this mud or something. They are so happy. My neighbor's horses. I like the 11 year time. I'm in California and it's 8 a.m. That's 10 a.m. Your time makes it a little harder to get up. I hear you. I like it at 11 because I'm able to get a lot of work done before I go live. Because if I start my day with my live, then it gets all like, disrupted and I won't have much time to get much work done before I have to go pick up Ava. Um, so it's 11 a.m. works really well, except for I just get, I get hungry. <laughs> Sierra gets hungry too. Velcro or snap would work for an epidural pin holder. Okay, so we are going to I have a few stitches left here. Let's go ahead and do the giveaway. You can start guessing. This one is going to be for the PDF for the um, Essential Oil Roller Keychain PDF. So you can go ahead and guess your numbers, 1 through 126, but don't guess the number that was already drawn, which I believe was 54. There it is. So don't guess 54. Numbers 1 through 126. First one to get the closest without going over wins. Sierra will find you. Sierra will be mindful of all the rules and rule breakers so you do not have to police each other we got it under control nothing but good vibes over here in this comment section and i'm going to continue my couple of bobble stitches and single crochets we are almost done after i type the word stop in the comments no more guesses will be submitted and then Sierra will find the winner and she will let us know. So I'm at the end of my row. And it, if I followed the repeat, it would be single crochet bobble. But I do not like to end on a bobble. My brain doesn't like that. So I just do single crochet, single crochet. And it does fine for me. Then we're going to chain one, I believe. I think we have one more row of single crochets. Yep, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. We have one more row of single crochets and then we're going to assemble this thing together. It kinda is looking like corn on the cob with the bubbles. <laughs> That's, that would have been fun for that crazy corn trend that was going on for a little bit. Okay, let's get my basket. Get ready to draw a number. I'm gonna type stop, S-T-O-P. Enter, and now I'm going to pick one. What's this one? 42. 42 is the winner. Maybe next year I can get one of those um, spinny things for, like, what is it? Like bingo? One of those bingo spinny things? That would be fun. That would be really fun. So 42 is the winner. Sierra will find you. Gosh, I'm... You guys hear my body being like Papa Laka cracking, crack attacking? Is because my back and my neck is just creaky cracky. But I'm going to the chiropractor tomorrow. I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, now we are going to do row four, which is single crochet 41 and then increase around the tippy and then single crochet 41 again. Yes, a bingo cage. That would be so fun. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sheesh. Single crochet 41. All the way down. I don't want to count, but I might have to. Fur Lopez, congratulations. You won the PDF. Please send me an email to Ashley at A Crafty Concept and tell me your name, your Instagram handle, and which prize that you won, which is Essential Oil Roller Keychain Pattern PDF, the whole thing, and your... Um, well, you don't have to give me your email address because I'll just respond to the email, but you get the gist. We're going to single crochet down for 41. I'm probably just going to eyeball it and hope for the best. I think I can do it. 
based on previous round stitches, but if I have to, I'll just go back and recount them. I do know that 41 should be, let's see, three, four, so it should be in top of a bobble stitch because my bobbles are my odd numbers. So I know it should be in, st in top of a bobble stitch, so that'll give me a little bit closer without counting. Are the bobbles on the buttonhole? Nope, they're around the buttonhole, see? But yes, we bobbled around the buttonhole. If you wanted to leave the bobbles off, you totally could and make your buttonhole a little bit more, um, like it would give it some depth, like some, what is it? When you got two different types of stitches. Definition? I don't know. But you're welcome to do that. Okay, let's see. I think right here might be, actually I think it was this one. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to count them. I'm going to count them away from the camera, but I'm just going to go, I'm just going to one, two, three, but I'm not going to do it. Well, I can do it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 so i did two too many just go ahead and take those out and now we are going to do some increases so i'm going to do 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 so i did two too many just go ahead and take those out and now we are going to do some increases around our edge we're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So we're going to do two stitches together right here for an increase. One, two, and then we are going to single crochet in the next stitch, just one time. That's our repeat. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six repeats. So we're gonna increase and then single crochet in the next stitch and then increase, and then single crochet in the next stitch, and then increase, single crochet in the next stitch, increase, single crochet, and I stopped counting. I think we have one more. Increase, and single crochet. So we should have six increases. So I'm gonna double check them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six, perfect. Now we have 41 single crochets back down the length of our work. So 41. How are we doing, everybody else? Am I like going too fast again, or are we, is this one a better pattern that we're able to kind of stay together? How are we doing? I'm gonna try to let the lag, let you guys catch up with my question so I don't ask 12 questions and then you be confused on which one to answer because that is my brain. I am high energy, so it's kind of hard sometimes to tame it down. I'm doing great, awesome, thanks for letting me know. Some of the other ones that was like, I was going way too fast, but it was for the time of, it was for sake's time, for sake's time's sake. <laughs> Still amazed by your speed, oh goodness. Lots and lots of practice and a really nice hook. And it's not even the most expensive hook. Like there are more expensive hooks. We are making an essential oil roller keychain to hold an essential oil roller or anything else that you would like to fit in there. I have a sickie at home. Oh gosh, I hope they feel better soon. Nothing worse than that. But thanks for tuning in. And I hope that your child, if it, I think it's a child, is having fun listening too. A couple people have told me that their kids have been watching with them and they just love it. Okay, had to step away to make a coffee. Now I want coffee. We did do one giveaway, um, Roxanne. It was for the PDF. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And I'm going to double check, but I believe it's time now to fold her up. Okay, 
Now your work will be twisted. This is due to the nature of the stitches, and it is normal. You are welcome to block if you decide, but it will straighten after assembly. So I was talking about this. It's all twisted up, because I think I had some people message me, and they were like, mine's all twisty. That's normal. It's just from how we did the rows. This is how the stitches work. Um, oh, sweet baby. Now we are just gonna, I'm crocheting horses and girl, I get your brain. It must be an Ashley thing. It must be. Um, so now if you want to block it, you can, but it usually works out fine after you close up the ends after we like make its shape. So it's not an issue. I haven't blocked any of them, but if you want to, you are welcome to, if you're into that. Fold the bottom 38 stitches in half. So 19 stitches are paired up with each other. So we are going to count from the bottom. 38. 1, 2, well, actually we're going to do 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to place a stitch marker there. And then I'm going to keep counting. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Marking the 19th one isn't super necessary, but I'm just going to use it for visualization purposes so you can see how it's going to fold up. So we're going to do it again from the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Color coding. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I don't have another purple, so we'll go with blue. 38. Okay, so these unworked stitches are going to be our flap. That's our flap to our button flap, if you will. And then these are going to be crocheted like this to close up our work. And then the button flap is going to go right there. And then our button is going to be sewed on right there. So you want your button to be small enough to fit between these two bobble rows and to be snug enough for your hole, your buttonhole. So that's the goal with the buttons. If you are struggling, you can leave off one, two, three, four bobble stitches for, the, for that row, leave off the first two and the last two and just do single crochets in those places. And then your, your button won't have bobble stitches next to it. So if your button is just not fitting or you're not loving it and you want to do that, just remove these, these two bobbles and you'll have a little bit more of a, of a flat surface. Hello, hello. Okay, now we are going to slip stitch 19 going down the right side of your work, tie off. So we are going to fold the bottom half. So 19 stitches are stip, slip stitch down going down the right side. So this is the right side, like right as in not left, not right and wrong, but like the right side of my work. So we are going to slip stitch down that side, so I have to turn my work, and I'm gonna put my first, my hook into this stitch with the blue stitch marker. That's where my hook is gonna go. And then I'm gonna put my hook into the first stitch next to my chain one. So the last stitch over here, which is this right here. Cause we are pairing up the 19 stitches. So we'll have 19 on this side and 19 on this side, 38 total. We're pairing them up and we are slip stitching down. So slip stitch just means going through all the loops on your hook. We can remove our stitch marker. That's one into the second stitch, into the second stitch on the other side. Grab our yarn and go through everything for a slip stitch. That's two. We're gonna go all the way down. That's three, four, really simple here, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15, 16, 
17, and then we have 18, and then the last one is that stitch and the one next to it. So these two right down there, that's the last slip stitch. Does your hand hurt when you make those little stitches? It doesn't, no, but I'm not giving it my tightest tension possible. I'm just going with like a, a average tension. If I was trying to make it as tight as possible, that's when my hands start hurting. So when I made um, the Bitty Boho bag a couple days ago, this one was really, really tight because the, I was using a G-hook and the Yarn Be Soft and Sleek yarn, which is a little bit thicker. If I was using I Love This yarn, it wouldn't have been as tight. So that did kind of make my hands cramp up. But this one, so far, so good. Slip stitch there. Now we're going to cut our yarn. I wonder how amazing would it be if we could just secretly slip stitch down the bottom of this and then just go up the other end and then we don't have to cut our yarn I don't think I could get up I don't think I could get up in there we'd have to like no I wouldn't be able to get up in there because yeah my my yarn is here so that wouldn't work I'm trying to always not cut my yarn anytime that I can help it but we're gonna cut our yarn and then tie off for that one and then we're going to join our yarn and do it again. So I'm going to join down here this time. And I don't know if that's in the pattern. Join yarn in the bottom. Yes, near the bottom of your work. And the reason why we're starting at the bottom is because when we did this row, we were facing, we were seeing the, the back piece of our, the back half of our piece. And so the single crochet stitches were made a specific way. So we, we see the like horizontal bars here and then the tops of our stitches on the backs. If we started at the top and have and single crochet down, this would be reversed. So this design would be on the front of our work and this design would be on the back. I want them to be the same. You're welcome to go either direction that you want if you are advanced enough to know what I'm talking about and make the, the change yourself. But if we, I'm just going to be doing it this way so they are the same. I think they need to be both the same, whichever way you decide to go. So this is technically the back of our slip stitches and this is technically the front of our slip stitches. So if you would rather have this design on the front of your thing, you can do it differently. But for us here, we're gonna do it the exact same on both sides and we're gonna be starting down here instead of up here. So I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch with my stitch marker and then the one right in front of that. Those are the 19 on both sides. That's the 19. Yeah, girl, me too. Anytime I can avoid cutting my yarn is a win for me. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to join our yarn there, and then, so I'm going to join with a chain, like a little little chain right there, and then we're going to slip stitch back in that same spot where we just joined. We can remove our stitch marker, so slip stitch there for one, and we're going to do that all the way down. Well, that's, that's messy. Why is that messy? Try it again. Maybe we don't need to chain. To secure it but if we don't will it just fall right out yeah it will you have to so chain to secure it go back in there and back in there and make a slip stitch give it oh wait that's why you just got to tug your tug your tail that okay there we go that's one into the next stitch and into the next stitch that's two next stitch same stitch on the other side that's three we're gonna go all the way down four, five, six, slip stitches, they, they give me joy, seven, it's so like repetitive and gentle, I just love it, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, why? This is wrong, okay. How embarrassing. Did I miscount? So this is the one that had my, my stitch in it, okay? So maybe that should have been on the other side of my work. So we're gonna make sure that these line up and then these two down here. Okay, I think I might have miscounted, so I'm gonna try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We're good. 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay. What's the prob, Bob? Maybe um, the, the side of my work that this one belongs to was the problem. So I'm just going to put this stitch marker. Oh, thank you, Miss K. I will do that. Thank you. So she just reminded me that I'm going to... Oh, I'm not really embarrassed, Heather. I was just kidding. I, it takes a lot for me to get embarrassed. But I'm going to turn off my other camera and restart real quick because air dropping it to my computer will take forever if I don't. So stop and start again. Thank you, Miss K, for reminding me. I mean, it still would have worked. It just would have been a bigger hassle. Okay, so now let's try this again. I'm going to connect this stitch and this one together so I can get a better idea. And if this doesn't work, the only thing I can think of is, is if we miscounted, but that doesn't make sense because it we might have miscounted. Okay, that's what happened. So remember when I when I was crocheting down, I thought this was the 19th stitch on this side because that's how it was over here, but because we flipped it, it's the 19th stitch on this side. That's what happened. So I'm gonna insert my hook in the 19th stitch on this side from here down. So if I counted from this stitch marker down, this one would be the 19. So I'm gonna go in here and then into the one with the stitch marker. That's why, because each side has 19, but my 19s need to um, match up with one another. So I'm gonna remove my stitch marker now, join my yarn there. Good thing is slip stitches are really fast. Oh my gosh. I will never combine belly and paws. Body, body and paws. Paws and body, oh my gosh. Okay, we joined our yarn and now we are going, I called Taylor immediately to tell her that and she said she almost spit out her Dr. Pepper. I also called Gabe to tell him while he was at work and he started cracking up on the phone at, off, at his office with all of his coworkers. Like I called them immediately. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch. If you missed it, if you're not in on the joke, please rewatch the previous day's Instagram live. It's on Instagram. It's not on YouTube yet, but it is on Instagram. My goodness, I had a major mouth typo. Slip stitch all the way up for 19 stitches. What are you making today? We are making an essential oil roller. I believe we have lost Sierra. Sierra, if you're still here, have have a good rest of your day. Thank you for all that you do for us. I think I can manage by myself after this. Okay. Keep it going. Man, I like working with this yarn. This yarn is so fun. Like, it's just, I guess because it's the cotton and the PAC or whatever that is, whatever that material is, and the size and the saturation of the color. Like, I just love everything about it. We are almost done. Our stitches are lining up perfectly. Last one goes where these two stitch markers are. I'm going to go ahead and remove them out. See you tomorrow, Sierra. And we're going to slip stitch here and here for the last one and then we can tie off so i'm just going to grab it and pull through but let me cut my yarn first okay ta-da i believe that is it other than sewing in your tail and attaching your button and your hardware so let me just double check make sure i didn't do some sort of edging or something that i forgot about so in all your tails, attach a button and key findings and voila, you have a super cool essential oil roller keychain holder. Let's do another giveaway, this time by myself. This yarn is by my one of my Crochet Boss Academy students. Her name is Ashin. I try to support my Crochet Boss Academy students anytime that I can. So sometimes I've bought a lot of Christmas presents from them. I didn't end up doing that this year because I just bought everything off of Amazon on Black Friday. And I know that is not good small business owner behavior. I bought a lot of stuff from small businesses too on Shop Small Saturday. But they're just extra presents. So people are getting more than one thing. 
because I bought some on Amazon and some from Shop Small Saturday, um, but I did not give myself enough time to order crocheted stuff. But this is the yarn that I'm using. It is linked in the email that came out this morning, and it's also linked in the description of the replay over on YouTube. And now let's do the giveaway. We've got people guessing already. We need guesses 1 through 126. 126 is the highest number that it can go. So if you go over that, it will definitely not win. These two numbers have already been guessed. This time we are going to be giving away the crochetness sticker. So if you win this giveaway, I will need your name, your Instagram handle, which prize you won, which is the crochetness sticker. That's very, that's very important. And where I need to send it to, that is your physical address because this will come in the mail. I need to know your actual name, not just like your Instagram handle, like your real name to put on the envelope. Go ahead and keep your guesses coming in and do note that I am a one woman show at this moment. So please give me grace and help me find the correct winner. Um, if I happen to miss it or overlook it or not scroll far enough or whatever. But also give me grace because I can't see, like Instagram sometimes chooses not to let us see everything for some reason. So we are going to just make sure none of these are shoved up under the lip of the basket. Making it super, super fair for all. Okay, and now I'm going to pick one. I'm on the other angle. Okay, wait, let's see. What is this? 77 that is our winner 76 oh i forgot to push stop s-t-o-p enter okay anything after the word stop will not be um selected but 77 is our winner now i'm gonna go through the the comments and see if i can find it so i'm gonna turn my camera around oh mama sita did 77 let's see if anybody else did it first hopefully it's an easy Hello, 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 I curled my hair today because it's um, a day dirty, which I don't know. I think all the stuff that, I don't know why this side is curlier than the other side. I don't love that. I was hoping it would fall a little bit more, but where my hair has been thinning out like a lot, it's been holding curl. Look, this is ridiculous. I look like Cruella DeVille. This is literally, literally half. Half, half, half curl, curled, half. half not curled. How ridiculous, gosh, how, oh my gosh. All right, whatever. We're just going to go with Pretend they're both curled the same, you guys. These are actually PJs. They are from Victoria's Secret Pink. And I got them in 2019 when I weighed less than I weigh now. But I'm still wearing them because I like them. And they're really super comfy. Um, okay, 77. Let's see. Everybody's saying it's Mamacita. Nobody's telling me that it wasn't Mamacita. So let me just... Okay. Um, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What yarn? Look nice with the felty. Couldn't agree more. Okay, 113, 13, 117, 75. Almost had it do more. I think I'm, I'm trying to see Mama Sita's 77. A couple of 88s. 77. Lucky, lucky number seven. Twice. 17, 27. Another 75. 55, 12, 32, 70, 33, 120, 62. Mamacita, I never even saw it. Did you guess early, early? Let me scroll. Let me try one more time. And sometimes it jumps around on me. Well, yeah, it's jumping all over like freaking little beans, little jumping beans. Did anybody else see Mama Sita's 77? Yes, I did 77. Love your shirt, thank you. Your top is cute, thank you. Hello, hello. Congrats, Mama Sita. Still cute, super cute, beautiful. Did anybody else see Mama Sita's 77? I'm not even seeing Mama Sita's guess. It was at the beginning. It was early, right before me. Okay. Other people are confirming, so we're just going to go with that. The, I, I started all the way up from where Sierra said bye, and then I scrolled down, but it keeps jumping. Jumping, jumping. So, uh, what are you making today? Keeps jumping. But if one other person can tell me they saw it, we'll go with that. So, I think we're getting a lot of comments. Sixth guess. Okay. 
We're going to go with that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the team the team joining in together. Okay, so Mama Sita, you win the crochet miss sticker. Please email me after this to Ashley at A Crafty Concept. You have to be extra vital to email it to me because Sierra is not here to email it to me. Usually she emails me all of the winners and then I like double check them. Um, so Mama Sita, please email me. Ashley at A Crafty Concept. Your name, your Instagram handle, what prize you won, crochet miss sticker, and then your address so I can ship it to you. Okay? I guess we won't be finishing this guy out because um, of, of time's sake, but also like I do that on the video tutorial if you absolutely need to see it. But um, so I, I would just sew on my button. I have a needle and thread and my little wooden bu button. And to sew it on, I would fold this in half and then kind of shove my button up under there where I think the hole would line up to and then I would test it. Yes, and so that's where it would go. So, oh, sorry, and then I would test it and then that's where it would go. So that's how I would find the spot and then I would just sew it on with a needle, just in and out around the, the two holes and then sew in all of these tails with a tapestry needle and then I would add my key ring. I usually put it somewhere about like right here for the type of hardware that I have and trying to get it on this thing is a task. Uh, would not be fun to struggle that with you guys on camera. So you can do it. You just have to be very, you know, good with your hands, but you open it up as best you can and kind of shove it in there. And then, well, first you need to put this, th put this part on if yours came in two parts like mine did and then kind of open it and shove it between those stitches. It's a little difficult. If you have a stapler, remover like those things with the little teeth if you have one of those i've seen people chomp those teeth in between the little parts of the the thing to hold it open um so if that if you have one of those you can use that i don't have one of those so i might actually make gabe do it because his hands are just i don't know able to do strong things i don't know um but that is it for today that is it for day eight we only have two days left tomorrow we're making crafty loop earrings to so that th the next two days are both going to have like miscellaneous actually three days because the keychain was today so a little bit of miscellaneous um, materials other than just your hook and your yarn so to make the crafty loops earrings you're also going to need some rope I get cotton rope. I saw some at the Dollar Tree the other day when I went to go buy all the stuff for Ava's advent calendar. They had cotton rope at the Dollar Tree. It's really, really thick, but you can unravel it. And it's it's only a small amount of yarn, but I mean of rope, but you don't need much at all. So if you don't have any cotton rope, you can get some at Hobby Lobby in the macrame section. Hobby Lobby also has new colors that they came out with. Not too long ago, I like to use the natural color, just like a white, whitish cream color for my fringe at the bottom of my earrings, but you can use any color that you want. Choose colors that are good for your ideal customer, something that she would be attracted to, something that if she saw it out and out at a market, she'd be like, oh, I need those earrings. That's what you're going for. <clears throat> I'm going to give myself an asthma attack gasping. Um, so you're going to need some rope and you're going to need some earring findings so i use the lobster clasp i think it's, it's literally these i use this clasp and then a little jump ring down there just like these earrings i'm pretty sure i use both of those things i might it might just be this guy we might not use a jump ring i think i open this little guy and just i don't even use a jump ring but if you wanted it to be a little bit more dangly you could use a jump ring but um, I don't think I, I normally do. So, and you're gonna need some needle nose pliers to open those little tiny hardware things. So if you have these things, make sure, oh, uh, Mama Sita, your name, your Instagram handle, what prize you won and where I need to send it to. And send that to Ashley at A Crafty Concept. Get a rope, get a rope, um, but you can, I don't use a jump ring either. Yeah, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. So um, you can play with it and see which one you like better. Ugh. Um, so rope, hardware, and needle nose tweezer, like needle nose pliers to open the little circular part of your earring. You might be able to use your fingers, but it's easier with the tweezers to grab a hold of it. And it took me forever to find mine. They were in the barn. I finally found them, but it took me forever. And then um, fingering weight yarn, and I think it's a B hook. I think it's B. It will be in your it will be in your inbox in the morning at 8 a.m. But I'm pretty sure it's a B hook and fingering weight yarn. If you wanted to use thicker yarn, you could just do fewer 
um, single crochets around your rope, but I really like the look of the fingering weight yarn. You could also use embroidery thread if you have embroidery thread, but you, yes, you can get, so you know how embroidery thread comes in like those little baby skeins? You can, or hanks, whatever, you can, I think you could get an, a whole pair of crafty loop earrings from just one hank. You cannot get a crafty boho earring from a hank, but I think you can get a whole pair of crafty loop earrings, if not more. Um, also, also, crafty loop earrings can be used as crafty loop keychains, and it's significantly faster because you don't have to add the earring finding and you don't have to make two and you can just use the bead chain style keychains like the ones that um lucky rabbit's foots were attached to in the 90s did not realize those were actual rabbit feet by the way that was something i learned in adulthood and it made me like gasp um but those keychains are you just go whoop, done i mean it's so easy so fast and those make really good freebie gifts for your customers, especially, and you can use worsted weight yarn for those. It's just a little chunkier. You can use the worsted weight yarn if you wanted to. So something, a little pro tip, and I'll probably talk about it again tomorrow. But if you sell things in your Etsy shop, and say you use eight colors, my Crochet Boss Academy students, we talk about the, the importance of limiting the numbers that you offer in your shop, the number of colors that you offer in your shop. So say you have eight colors, and you want to give a free thank you gift if they spend 35 or 45 or whatever, Crafty Loop keychains would be really good for that. And then you could send them a keychain in one of your eight colors that they didn't just buy. So if they bought something in mustard and terracotta, you could send them a keychain in the olive co color. And then you can say in your note, um, I, I created, um, I sent you a freebie as a thank you for shopping small this holiday season. It is in the olive color that is available in my shop or something like that. So then they know mentally, oh, that color is gorgeous. Oh, I need a hat in that color. So it could help lead to more sales, right? That That's just a little pro tip with the keychains. And the hardware with the bead, the bead um, chain findings is, is a little bit like lower, like not luxury. It wouldn't be like a luxury keychain. Like these findings are are a little bit more, in my mind, luxury. And you can use the nicer findings because we would just stick the whole thing through there and then loop it and then attach it, like close it up. So you could use fancy findings if you wanted to. They cost a little bit more. The bead chains are like so, so cheap if you buy them in like, you buy them in like a pack of 100 and they're just a few cents each. So it's really, really cheap. Um, but I'll probably talk about that again tomorrow. Make sure you are on the Crocheamus email list. You can sign up by going to a craftyconcept.com forward slash Crocheamus sign up. So crochet, M-A-S, sign up. And that will get you on the list. So we have two days left and you will get both of those two emails with the two freebies that come with them. For Crafty Loop Earrings, we have product tags that were designed by Anna of the Naughty Boss. So they're stellar and they're good for like hanging your earrings. And in the email, I show you how I used those tags at my market when I sold earrings back in the day. So there's a picture of that in the email. There's also a picture of a Crafty Loop keychain already in the email because I've already drafted it and scheduled it and ready to go at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the morning. If you are not on the email list and you want to grab the product tags for today's pattern, you can go to this blog post and sign up to my list there and get them. Anytime you see a freebie available for any of the patterns on my blog, you can sign up to my list and get the freebie, even if you're already on my list. It's not gonna put you in the welcome sequence again. It's not gonna load up your inbox. It's literally just gonna give you that freebie and call it a day. Um, you might have to do the double, the, you have to go in and confirm that yes, I do want this. If you were on the email list and you did not get an email this morning, go into your inbox and in the junk and the spam and see if there's a confirm your subscription email which is super annoying but that's like how we how we be legal over here so the government don't come after us i guess i don't know but um you have to confirm it if you're not getting the emails that would be why okay i think that is everything for today thank you guys so much for being here we need to take our picture and i don't love that my tails are going to be hanging out i'm going to try to like just hide them inside because i don't want my tails all dangly in my cover photo i should have been doing this while i was chit chatting um, if you guys have any questions, now's a good time to ask me, but tomorrow's is going to be really, really fun and probably really short. I do know that we only did three giveaways. I apologize. It's not as easy without Sierra. So we're going to stick with three for this one. Hopefully tomorrow we can squeeze in all four, um, if we have time, but it is going to be a really, really fast one. So keep that in mind. If you want to join the live cur during the live time, it, it might be shorter. Um, okay, perfect.
just hit those little tails. Thank you. Now I'm going to pose for my screenshot. Look, I'm hiding my, my Corella DeVille hair. There we go, can't even tell. I gotta stay here a long time. So it can grab it. Okay, there we go. Thanks friends, I will see you tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the last day is at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week and I will see you tomorrow.